What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Juizy. Welcome to another edition of Juizy Delivers. I'm a long time viewers. Welcome back, my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Saturday, November 18th. And we are on day three of accepting DoorDash earn by time orders. It is day three, but I think I'm gonna continue doing this going forward. Uh, doing earn by time, 12 o'clock to like, uh, you know, four o'clock or something like that, which is like when there's no orders. So I might as well make, I made $70. Okay, so this is how much we made on, t we made $72 and then we made $80 on the second day. So it like, you know, the same amount of time. So this is how much we made on both days in total. And before I get with you on that, we are currently at a 20, because bro, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, I'm sorry, I, I forget, man. But we are currently right now at a 24% acceptance rating. We uh, started at a 6% acceptance rating after day one. We ended up being a 14% and then after day two, 24%. So we're at 24% now. And right now we are at, we have made in the two days that we've done this DoorDash stuff, $153.28. We have worked for seven hours and 30 minutes and that is equal to, oh, I did the math. Let me do the math again. So if you divide 153.28 divided by seven and a half hours, that is $20.43 per hour. And if you do the total time, which we have in total time, nine hours and 15 minutes you divide 153.28 divided by 9.25 that is 16 dollars and 57 cents per hour in total time guys so that's those are the numbers right there we're gonna do day three we're gonna start at one o'clock not at 12 because it's already a little bit late but we're gonna start at one o'clock do until four or five five o'clock something like that we'll see what happens now with that being said let's get the hustle started and not waste any more time on this intro do i have anything else to say about this because i always forget i already told you guys the acceptance rate I told you guys how much we have made so far on the DoorDash, and that is it, guys. Now, with that being said, don't forget to smash that like button to help me grow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video, at the end, and you want to watch 50 videos, be doing every single one my people. My people, let's get the hustle started. Let's go. The time is 1.04 p.m., guys. We accepted our first order, so we're starting at 1.04. It is a 2.5 mile order. The place is called Delights, the Brewery. I'm all like 0 for 3 in this place already. They haven't really given us, uh, in terms of tips, they haven't tipped us. So this place gets a lot of no-tip customers, so, but we'll get it. Uh, DoorDash pickup? Thank you, have a good day. Okay, we got the order right here. And I'm telling you right now, I, I went online and I got this order maybe like not even five minutes later. So you already know how that works. When you go online, you get an order right away. Probably no tip, guys. It does say to pick up by 110. It is 106 p.m. So I'm just gonna wait until 110. Until I, I'm gonna wait till 110, pick it up, and that's it. Watch some TikTok videos. All right, so it was as expected. There was a no tip order, but whatever. We accept, expected it already, but it was five dollars and sixty two cents for two and a half miles. So it's like two dollars a mile if you think about it. I don't know. But we accepted another order right away, which is good because we're still getting paid. We're on time, at least. It is a seven, no, three, what is a pizza hut order? 3.8 miles, guys, 3.8 miles. But this one right here, the code is said, oh, the Presta gate code 161. And then I said, oh, 161, I, it wasn't working. So what I did was I, I was looking at the A to Z, like the customers. I mean, not the customers, they, the residents, and then a lot of numbers start with zero. So I'm like, okay, let me try 0161. So it ended up being that. It was 0161. That worked. Uh, I mean, I could have told the customer, hey, can you put zero next time for the next driver or something? But I don't know, people might get mad about that. So I just left it as is. Let's go to Pizza Hut. Okay, we made it to Pizza Hut. The name, uh, I think I told you guys Pizza Hut, and we have our Pizza Hut DoorDash bag. Let's go get it. Hola. All right, we got the order, my people. Let's deliver. Okay, I want to tell you guys real quick. We declined our first order of the day. It is. Uh, it was an 8.7 mile order for Chicken Kitchen and Peco, and I declined it because it was going way out of the zone. And 8.7 miles. Peco usually has no tip. So I don't know. In Chicken Kitchen, I doubt it has a tip. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, not that it matters because it's still the slow hour. It's 2 o'clock. Maybe I, maybe I, I, I should have 
I'm, I may regret this later. We'll see what happens, I don't know. But uh, we'll keep waiting. The time is 2.05 p.m. and we accepted an order. A better, way better order than the, the 8.7 mile order. This is a five mile order, but it's still two places, but it's okay. This is the first place, it's called, well, in the app it's called some uh, Mosa, but it's really called La Pisa, so they're uh, operating under different names. So five miles, and then after that, we have to go to the Salty Donut, and that's it, let's go. Hola, pasate un DoorDash para... Muchas gracias. Buen día. All right, we got the order my people. They didn't tell us to confirm it, which was kind of weird, but we got it. So we made it to our second destination. It's called the Salty Donut. Let's go. from the salty donut let's deliver this is to leave it here uh, this is so the time is 2 44 p.m and we accepted an order i tried to decline it but it said that i already, I already used my decline i don't know I, I don't think i did but i mean i guess the app is always right uh, so i accepted it it's an eight mile order so whatever we'll just do it eight miles shake shack all right we are here at shake shack let's go it's a long line, but we can wait. I'm pretty sure it's ready though. Gotta pick up our DoorDash for two Yeah. Thank you. Have a good All right. See the other. The order was ready. I knew it. Let's go. So we are here waiting for the customer to open the gate, and they haven't opened it up yet. And it's a leave at door. The time is 3.36 p.m. and we accepted an order, right? And I'm like, it, it, I got the, it was, a, it's a six mile order. Ken's Delight is the name. But man, it's like these, these apps, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. I was, you know, on the lane to make a left or yeah, to make a left. And then as soon as it turned green, I started making a left. And I was already making the left. And then I got the order an order that I had to go straight. So I'm like, oh my goodness, now I have to make a U-turn, this and that, now I'm in the U-turn now, but it's like, it's like DoorDash, couldn't you offer me that order when I was in the red light, you know, so I could go straight, but it is what it is. It's all good, we're all getting paid by time, so. And the good thing about, and we're still out of the zone, good thing about these orders is that it's gonna take us back to the zone, so it's good. So let's get, uh, hopefully we get a stack as well, see what happens. Okay, we accepted a stack right here. It is uh, an extra 4.1 miles. The the distance, I mean, the lo the location is a little bit questionable, but whatever, I'm just doing whatever DoorDash tells me. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna have to deliver to the second customer bef before the first one. So we have to go up and then down and to the side again, but let's do it. Okay, we made it to our first destination, which is called Ken's Healthy Delights. Hola, ¿para qué ese de Nick? Sí. Alright, we got it guys. Let's go to the second place. I forgot the name of it. So it is possible that the customer is the same customer, the first and second location, because it's I'm going to the second location and I think there was only three like houses on the on the map. But I will let you know after I pick up this. Okay, my people, we made it here. What is the name of the place? Ranchero something. Ranchito Marketplace. This is like in a, not in a, out of like, in the middle of nowhere, but there's not really much around here. Hola, hola. para Nick. All right, we got it, my people, let's deliver. I don't know if you guys could hear the music, but it was like a lot of like uh, you know, Spanish music, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so both orders are for the same customer, so that's perfect. Let's go deliver. I think they're both here. DoorDash, thank you, sir or ma'am or madam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, customer, for tipping me twice. Man, because, I mean, very easily they could have been like, oh no, I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna tip once but this customer tipped five and then three and then the base pay was 13. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's uh let's stay on the urn by time. It's 4:20 p.m. Let's stay on urn by time for another hour at least. Yeah, another hour until five o'clock. No, not until 5:20. Until 5 p.m. That's it. And then we're gonna start multi it. Okay, we declined and it slowed down a lot, guys. Oh no, we got another order right here. Let me see. I'll take this one. I'll take this one as my last order. It is a 5.4 mile order. It's going up and then I'm gonna come back down on earn by time. And then after that, I will I, I will start multi-apping. It's 4.55 p.m. But did I screenshot this already? We did decline an order. Oh no, I didn't screenshot this. Look, we declined a 10 mile order. I'm gonna put it on the screen and I was like, nah. And then I got this, I, I finally remembered to, to screenshot the, the message. Like when you, you have one decline per hour, so, and this is what it says. It says, use the one decline available for this hour. If you decline another offer in this hour, you'll opt out of earning by time. No, wait, no, 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 that, okay, that, that's what I, okay, 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 that, that's actually good. This this one is when you don't have another another decline. You get one decline per hour, and then it gives you this option. If you decline another offer in this hour, you'll be opt out of earning by time. You'll still be able to dash and earn by offer. Okay. Now I no yeah, man. What am I saying, man? No, this is the this is the message I want to show you. So use your one decline. Okay. All right. Sorry, I don't know what's going on, but let's go get it. Five miles. Uh, let's go. Okay, we accepted a stack as we're driving to this place. So it's a 0 0.8 mile stack for Shake Shack, an extra 0 0.8 miles. And this will be the last order. On, and then we're gonna stop and multi-app, start multi-apping. Because after this, it's gonna be at least 5.30 for sure. It's 4.59 right now, PM. All right, let's go get it. Okay, we made it to the destination. I think it's this one right here, the Akaya Bowls. Go for 6620 is the address. Playa Bulls. No, this is not a Copacara. Uh, no, this is not it. it. Yeah, I think this is it right here. It doesn't have the suite number. Hello. So it's not here. Uh, maybe it's here next to it, I guess. I don't know if this is it right here. A pokey? I don't even know, man. Hello. Hi. I want to see if this is the right restaurant. It says Copacana Akai. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I went over there. And then she's like, yeah, this is the place. No, and then I said, oh, no, it's not the place. After, like, I told her, you know, that's fine. Yeah, it's pliables over there. Um, oh, okay. Can I take a picture of your order? Because our printer's yeah, not yeah. working, so I have to make it work. Okay, no problem. Just All right, we got the order, guys. They had to make it because their printer wasn't working, so... We uh, so we waited some time, but it's okay. And look, it's telling me, oh, do you want to unassign the order? Nah, man, I'm getting paid by time. I don't want to unassign. Okay, we made it to our second destination, which is here at Shake Shack. Shake Shack. All right, we made it. Our no, we already made it, but we got the order. Let's go deliver. Guys, I had to stop recording right here, eh, so I'm doing an order right now. It's actually a banger, an Uber Eats order. I just want to show you guys. This area at nighttime, it's pretty, it looks pretty nice. And you see the Christmas tree up there, it looks nice. And uh, oh, there's a cop right there, I think. He's parking. Okay, so a cop stopped me. He said, oh, I can't park there. I was like, um, all right, is there a place where, could, where delivery drivers could park? He's like, I don't know. Okay, what I was gonna say is that that cop, I mean, well, there's no point of getting mad at the cop because he doesn't, he doesn't control the, the place you know he's like oh, i don't know where there's a delivery drivers but my thing is towards people that like restaurants and stuff like that that need to like that haven't been that haven't been properly uh set up or not trained but like have their establishment their business set up to accept delivery driving parking you know i know there's a lot of scooters at least here in uh, coral gables but like there's cars too you know and they don't have like designated spots for delivery drivers to park even though i did see an instacart shopper parking the curbside pickup so eh, you know what i was thinking about it i was like man they've had three years since 2020 to get, get up with the online orders and delivery drivers they've had three years to set it up but if they do set up a parking people are just gonna cheat the system 
you know so actually you know what never mind people that are not even delivery drivers are probably gonna use that parking so i guess there's no point i guess i mean unless they make you stay in the car i don't know they make you stay in the car and then you click arrive i don't know man let's just deliver this this is a nice order look it's a it was a steakhouse there in coral gable so let's deliver this all right my lovely humans if you made it to the end of this video thank you for watching all right this is how much we made for the day on DoorDash, we made $79.45, and on Uber Eats, we made $72.92 for a total of $152.37. Guys, this strategy has been a banger strategy. If you guys want to try it out, earn by time in an area during the lunchtime, like 12 to 4 or 5 or 6, whenever you, if you start even later, around that time, do DoorDash, earn by time, get that earn by time money, make at least 70 to 80 bucks. I'm going to tell you guys how much we have made for the whole the whole like challenge of the three days doing DoorDash but I made on all three days on average of 80 bucks and then I was able to multi-app after make another I don't know like in this case I made another $72 on Uber Eats because it was dinner shift and it was nighttime so and uh, I mean it's all it was all uh, obviously Saturday night too so that helps us a lot but you can actually make some money on the earn by time every single day even on the slowest day of the week i think i did it on wednesday you know what let's go through it now oh hold on don't don't leave first i'm gonna give you guys the orders that we did on camera for uber eats for uber eats we did a 29 dollar 99 cent order 3.6 miles 27 minutes to complete a 17 dollar and 51 cent order 6.1 miles 41 minutes to complete $13.33 order, 1.5 miles, 14 minutes to complete, and then a $12.09 order, 2.6 miles, 31 minutes to complete, and that is pretty much it. Okay, now for the total that we did on DoorDash. Okay, so the numbers are in. I forgot to actually screenshot it, but I did screenshot it. So we made on the three days, we worked Wednesday, we made $72.43. Friday, $80.85. Saturday, $79.45. For a total of $232.32, we made uh, on DoorDash pay $189.23 and on customer tip $43.50. So straight up DoorDash pay, no tip. I mean, I don't really care as long as I know a lot of people, they get mad when there's less tips than DoorDash pay or any pay, even in Instacart. But as long as we're getting paid, I don't care who pays me, we're getting paid uh, you know, $189.23 active time 11 hours and 20 minutes so if you divide 232.73 divided by 11.25 that is $20.68 and per hour in active time so that is great $20 an hour and then if you divide the total time we work 14 hours so 232.73 divided by 14 hours that is $16.62 and per hour in total time guys so that's not that good $16 an hour but as long as we can make that every single day even on the slowest day of the week like we, i did on wednesday then the sky's the limit after you could cherry pick you could cherry pick uh yourself on the nighttime and then right now i'm cherry picking only uber eats and instacart at nighttime but once i get my acceptance rate to 70 percent again um i'm gonna be cherry picking on doordash as well so that'll be orders on there but actually what did we end what was the ending ending uh acceptance rating that we were at we ended the day with a 31% acceptance rating, 98% completion rating, 4.93 customer rating, 88% on time. That's uh that's on the the full like that's like in in every delivery in the lifetime deliveries. And then 38 deliveries in the last 30 days. For me to be at um platinum, I need 100 deliveries in the last 30 days. Right now I'm at 38 deliveries. Um I think that needs to go up, guys. I th I think these numbers like they're very skewed. Like they take forever to to update i think it updates every so often i don't know but that is pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think about this strategy also let me know if you are thinking about implementing the strategy as well but it's a great strategy guys doordash earned by time it has to be an area that pays that you could be in traffic so traffic is your friend on earn by time if you go to a congested area where there's a lot of traffic go to that spot the hot spot and also if it could pay you at least 15 dollars an hour then that would be good I mean, I go to the $15 an hour spot, but there's other areas where it's like $12 an hour and like the trap, it, you know, the house, there's more houses. That's another thing. If you go to a place with like that, the population is less, like there's more apartments. So like, you know, you, you drive less miles. Oh, well, 
I guess that's not good. You want to drive a little bit more miles. You know what? As long as there's a lot of traffic, try that area. But guys, I'm going to end it right here. If you made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely humans, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing delivery, just subscribe to my people. My people, have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. It's your boy, Joe Easy. Let's go.